Hey guys, it's Lisa, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to make over some items to look like uh, they have a metal finish. Now, Dixie Belle has a new product called Patina Spray, and it's meant actually to be used with, with the paint, uh, Patina paint that goes with it, and you put the paint on first, and then you spray this Patina on it, and it gives you some of the blues and greens and even yellow if you add that. Um, but I'm just going to try it without using that um, paint first. I ordered the patina spray and didn't know that you needed to use it with that. Uh, my friend Jean had asked me to order her, order her some, and as it turns out, you need that paint first. Uh, but I'm just going to try it again without it. And what I'm doing is I go over this clock with um, this bronze gilding wax. And I just kind of paint it into all these little details and into the whole thing. I cover the whole thing with this. And then I let that dry and it still has to have another coat of it. Generally, I don't put this much on. But again, I want this to look like... Um, it is metal so this little uh, angel was already this color and my sister thrifted this and it has a couple of chips on the bottom that doesn't that don't bother me at all I think this may be chalk of some kind I think and um, but I I just wanted to 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 make this all look like it's that bronze and so again, I give this two coats of that and let it dry well. And then uh, I took it outside and sprayed it with that patina spray. And um, once you spray that on there, you're supposed to let it sit for two to three hours and just kind of see what happens. So um, that's what I did. And I was happy with the results. I know that uh, you're going to get more uh, better results with the paint and I just did get that in today um, so I hadn't had time to use that yet but um, the spray itself I felt like worked really well now it does have a strong smell and so you have to do it outside but um, I was happy with how it worked and so what I did is I sprayed it with the blue and then uh, while it was still wet I sprayed it with the green and then I just kind of waited to see what happened. And I also did that with a little wooden jewelry box that I thrifted. And I thought this little wooden box was so pretty. I don't like the finish of the wood at all, but I love this little picture on the front. And um, it actually plays Amazing Grace. So um, I thought this little box needed a makeover. It, it looks old fashioned in one way, but the box itself absolutely did not. So I did the same thing to this one. I gave it two coats of that bronze gilding wax and let it dry well. And then um, instead of spraying this one, because I was afraid to get that liquid down under this glass and get on that picture so what I did was I just carefully painted that on I just sprayed some in a little saucer and just painted that patina on this one and then uh, waited to see what happened with it now this is what the spray looks like and I thought about spraying it here and decided not to but I just kind of shook it up good and then again, I just painted that on. And then uh, I bought this little this little dish at a at an estate sale, and it's very very old. Uh, I scrubbed it and couldn't get that off of it, and so I did the same thing with this one. And here I've already sprayed this, and I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens to it. Now this wall pocket was given to me by my sister. So um, I'm going to put a mold on this one. And I just used a resin mold. And I'm going to add it on with the Type Bond Thick and Quick. 
and a little bit of hot glue and let that dry and then I'm going to paint this whole thing in the color Savannah Mist and that's a Dixie Belle color. So I'll give this two coats uh, after I've glued this mold on. I give it two coats of Savannah Mist and let it dry well and then I'm going to add some gilding wax to this one. And I'm using, I'm going to use the Dixie Belle gold gilding wax. And, uh, but, but there's different kinds and you can use any kind that you want. The same with the paint. I just use Dixie Belle colors because that's what I sell in my store. And again, once this is covered well and I let it dry well, then I'm just going to take my finger and rub the gilding wax on all the high spots. So I'll go around the ridge at the top and actually all three ridges and then I'll go down all the vertical ridges and on the mold on the front. And I don't want full coverage here. I want it to look like uh, the gilding has worn and that'll just help this look more old. And then once I get all the gilding on it that I want uh, and let that dry well, then I'll finish this off with a, I think I just use a clear wax on this. But I think this updates it in a sense that it still looks vintage. So I guess that's not updated, uh, but it just, it fits more into the style that I'm going for rather than that 80s darker um, wicker. Or I guess this was rattan. Now, my sister and I have been working on a big project in the store, and I know I mentioned before that we're changing all the areas out, but uh, today we started in the she shed, or she shack is what we call it, I guess, um, but we are doing a finish on the walls, and the idea that we first came up with kind of morphed into more and more, and that's the reason that I'm late getting my video out. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to finish it in one more day and um, I can show that in a future video. But we've just had so much fun with that project and it's just, to me, it looks amazing. We're so excited about it. So I can't wait to show you guys what that's looking like. Now my last project, uh, I'm going to show you what the patina spray how it works on the actual patina paint uh, so uh, i'm going to add one more to this video where i actually do it the way i'm supposed to and let you see the difference and how that turns out so what i'm going to use is the copper patina paint and then uh, this little iron bird so I'm now that the the directions say put a one coat on it and let that dry and then put a second coat on and while that's wet then spray the patina spray on it uh, but I didn't mind some of the black showing through on this and so instead of waiting on that to dry and doing another coat I just sprayed the spray on this wet. So first I sprayed a little bit of the blue and then I sprayed the green over the top of the blue. And then um, I guess it only took maybe about 30 minutes. The directions say two to three hours, I think. Uh, but this only took about 30 minutes uh, for it to have all the patina that it needed. And I could have actually went with a lot less of the spray, but I do like the way it turned out. And obviously it works much better when you use it with the paint and, and when you uh, spray it on while that paint is wet. So the, you can see the difference in it and the clock here. It's a really big difference. I do like both looks, but uh, you get much, much more patina when you do it the way you're supposed to. So here is a look at all the pieces. Again, it's a completely different look, uh, but I, I like both ways. 
Uh, now, I will say that um, the, the wall pocket that I did, I should have used a clear coat on first because the rattan part of it uh, bled through, as you can see there, and turned my paint more of a yellowy color that I don't care for. So I'm going to have to clear coat that part of it and paint over that. So what this is, is I'm showing you guys a sneak peek of what we are doing in the She Shack. And it's the area where I do all shabby chic. And um, so the walls are just regular planks and the outside of that She Shack actually is um, is plank also it's just made with these boards so as you can see you can see through the outside of it so the inside walls are the same boards as the outside walls so i've never really done anything to these walls except kind of give them a dry brush effect but uh, everything just kind of blends together and i've been wanting some sort of a finish on these and um, we thought about uh, doing some sort of wallpaper and then um, and then my sister decided that maybe we should do each plank wallpaper differently so that was what we planned on doing and then uh, of course it just morphed into more and we started adding other details and uh, the look that we ended up with is just such a sweet look. I love the way it looks, and I'm going to share some of it with you guys, and then the rest I'll just show when I do my shop tour. So I'm going to do one of these planks uh, for you guys to see, and, and then Tammy is going to do another one and just show you a couple of different looks that we did. So um, oftentimes we would start with, a tissue wrap and and then uh, we would tear up pieces of napkins and we we even uh, got a lot of very old paperwork uh, from a well-known person in our in our our neighborhood uh, that his grandfather or his father actually passed and they had so much uh, paperwork with a lot of history of our area so um so that was really nice to have on our walls and we even added uh some of my mom's handwriting in a letter that she wrote to all of her children and so we decoupaged that on one of the boards as well because mom's always been a part of the shop and uh when i first opened it she helped me then so she's been with with our store since it opened and i always want to keep her a part of it and now tammy is doing her board and as you can see we've got all kinds of looks going but it all works and i was kind of concerned at first that getting uh, all of these colors on on it might get in the way of decorating but I found that when I started putting it back together, because we have all these colors, anything works. So uh, in one area, you might pull out a certain color and, um, and then it just kind of um, makes it go with that area, where if I had a more of a prominent color in one certain area, that might be where I put that particular color of vignette. So it actually works so well and um and i think it's going to be really fun to decorate now i like showing uh some of what i do and some of what tammy does because uh, although we find that we have very very similar taste uh our style the way we do things is somewhat different so um it just shows you a lot of different looks that you can get and uh, I'm anxious for you to see. I'm gonna, once this is finished, I'm gonna kind of go slowly through some of these uh, boards and let you see all the different looks that we got. But this, uh, this room has taken us two entire days and we've had to apologize to 
uh, customers all day long because actually two days uh, because of the mess that we have. If you've never um, crafted with paper, uh, then you, you probably don't realize how messy paper can be. And uh, when we were doing the junk journals for mom, we had a mess all the time. Uh, but I, I appreciate that we don't have that all the time now, but th we have had a couple of days where it's just everywhere you look is paper. And I'm so glad that we're finished with that. Although I've said uh, for the last couple of days that this is probably one of the funnest um, projects that we've ever done. And it turns out this was a much bigger undertaking than we expected it to be, uh, but still well worth it. Even before we were finished, we were both still very glad that we did it. It was just so much nicer when it was all finished. We love this so much that Tammy is even actually trying to figure out a place in her home that she can do this on a very small wall. And I think this would be really pretty in a bathroom, uh, especially if you have uh, just a small area for your commode. And just doing that behind the commode and giving your bathroom a very shabby, chic look, I think this would be very pretty in a bathroom. And I think where this would look the most uh, sweet is in a little playhouse. You could do the walls in this in a playhouse, and I think that would just be beautiful. I'm sorry about the camera work. Kaylee must be dancing or something. I don't know why she's moving around so much. Uh, but you can still get the idea of what we did here and um, how we gave each individual board a completely different look from the one beside it and it, and it still worked. So you'll see that when I show you uh, all the boards. And here again, it's really hard to tell what it looks like when this Mod Podge is still wet. And we used the gloss Mod Podge. I thought that might be a problem. I had a bunch of it, so that's why we used that. Uh, but it wasn't a problem at all. It still looked really good, and now it's very wipeable, so uh, we don't have to worry about getting anything on it and not being able to wipe it off. And I think she's finishing this one up, and then I'll just start to show you through all the boards before I show you the reveal on my uh, vignette that I started with.
Now I thrifted this beautiful, beautiful glassware and it's very, uh, very good quality glassware except there, there were some uh, chips on it. Uh, but when I find glassware that is this gorgeous, I don't even worry about the chips. I don't have any doubt that it will sell because it displays so well. And um, I just, I love the look of this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.